hello great people welcome back to our channel we're so excited to have you again still on the issue of mazinam the Kano detention the global family of ipop have decided to send out a strong message not only to their supporters alone or ipop members alone but also to the entire world and that also revolve around those who are quite very superior when it comes to the issue of law talking about the united nations african union united states of america great um, country of israel and other um key organizations you know and they are telling them that from now henceforth mazin namdi kanu has been declared a poc and what's the meaning of poc we're going to be revealing that in a jiffy oh, it's a little bit long but you're going to get to hear why they maintain their position that he is a poc but before we give you all of that if you're not subscribed kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video the indigenous people of biafra ipob has given insight on its leaders ordeal in kenya Speaking on Friday, the group declared Namdi Kanu a prisoner of conscience. IPOP said Kanu, who is in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS, was arrested for committing no offense. Emma Powerful, the spokesman of IPOP, said its leader only advocated for self determination due to the perceived oppression of the Southeast. A statement by Powerful read thus. It says following the extrajudicial sorry following the extraordinary rendition of Mazinam de Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria without proper documentation for doing so and long incarceration and detention of Mazinam de Kanu in DSS custody with the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra wish to state categorically to the people of the world that Mazinam de Kanu is now declared prisoner of conscience. In 2015, Nam de Kanu was first arrested and subjected to an egregious violation of his fundamental human rights. After his miraculous escape from the military invasion of his home in 2017, he was abducted in Kenya and renditioned to Nigeria in June this year. Mazinam Dikanu has been in DSS detention in Abuja ever since then. We therefore have to inform the world, most, civili most civilized countries and African continent that Mazinam Dikanu is fighting for the freedom and self-determination of his people because under the United Nations Charter to which Nigeria is a signatory, self-determination is not a crime. Under the African Union Charter, to which Nigeria is a signatory, self-determination is not a crime. Under the law of the Federal Republic, Federal, sorry, under the law of the Federation of Nigeria, particularly Article 20, Cap A09, self-determination is not a crime. As a matter of fact and law, self-determination is recognized as a right, both domestically and internationally. Above all, self-determination is a political opinion which is recognized as a fundamental right under the nigerian constitution it is a matter of public record that hundreds of concerned citizens exercising their right to peaceful protest protested the incarceration of mazinam de Kanu, but were massacred by nigerian security service many more were arrested without trial some disappeared and have never been found till date during the military invasion of his resident, code name Operation Python Dance, Mazinam Dikano was almost being brought down safe for his miraculous escape. In 2021, he was kidnapped by the Nigerian government in Kenya and subjected to extrajudicial rendition to Nigeria against his will and against all norms and rules of international law. In both instances, he committed no offense known to the law. He is only advocated self-determination for his people and all oppressed people in nigeria he didn't he did so peacefully by articulating the decades of oppression marginalization inequality apartheid brutality to which his people and all oppressed people in nigeria have been subjected and in the light of those grievances he demanded a referendum 
of self-determination or self-rule for the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, and all our grief groups and lovers of freedom. In doing so, he bore no malice, no hate against any group. He only demanded self-determination as enshrined in the African Charter and the United Nations Charter, both of which Nigeria is a signatory. In peacefully articulating the grievances of an injured and oppressed people and in seeking self-determination for all such people, Namdi Kano broke no law within and outside Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipop has been and remained a peaceful organization devoid of any hate or violence and totally committed to its aim and object objective through peaceful democratic means as recognized by international law. Having regards therefore to all of the above and his continued extrajudicial detention, we hereby declare Mazinam de Kanu a prisoner of conscience. We, we do so because, like Nelson Mandela, he broke no law no, nor committed any crime. He only advocated freedom for his people from decade-long apartheid level oppression and tyranny. We use this opportunity to put the world on notice to ongoing judicial detention, persecution, and widespread human rights violation in Nigeria. In the same vein, we call on the United Nations, the United States, the Great State of Israel, the European Union, the African Union, the United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and all lovers of freedom to intervene before it's too late. Mm. Wow. Now, first of all, um, we have to get to know what's the meaning of um, free, uh, prisoner of conscience. What does it really mean? So that uh, for those who do not have an idea about it can also know what it means. Now, from Wikipedia, it said that the prisoner of conscience is anyone in prison because of their race, their religion, or political view. The term also referred to those who have been imprisoned or persecuted for the non for the non violent expression of their conscientiously held belief. So you can now understand what POC, that's prisoner of conscience, what it really stands for, and then look at um, why Mazinam de Kanu is in prison. And uh, we all know that. Uh, at least he's been holding tightly to his political view, which is self-determination for the people of Southeast. And he has been doing that as far back 2012 till death. And um, the issue has become um, uh, something that uh, troubles most of, uh, let me say, virtually all the Southeast. And there have been multiple uh, reactions and multiple meetings in that regard and how we can be released as, so that at least uh, the people of the South is, can be happy and also for the federal government to consider, you know, referendum so that uh, one can easily decide wha- who will stand for Nigeria and who will not, you understand? So uh, right now, they are like sending out this info to not just the global family of Biafra, but the entire world that uh, what you have seen or what you have heard about Manzinam de Kano, if it is outside this, it's a lie. He is only a prisoner of conscience. It's only been in prison or detained because he has a political viewpoint, has an uh, ugly viewpoint which he's standing on, and that's the reason why he's where he is. We are going to consider one or two reactions before we give you a chance you know, to tell us what's your position on this. This one said, in God we trust, freedom will come at last. National here say, the same thing that happened to Nelson Mandela will surely happen here because Mazinam de Kano will be released and Biafra will be a reality. So many comments coming in, but I'd like to give you a chance. Go to our comment section, let's interact. What's your viewpoint? Considering the new name they have given to him, that he's only a prisoner of conscience as P.O.S.